Every human body hides a secret switch, one that can in an instant take over every nerve, every muscle, every heartbeat. It's the moment when control disappears, yet everything is precisely orchestrated. In the blink of a second, over 30 muscles contract rhythmically. The heart races past 150 beats per minute. The brain floods itself with dopamine oxytocin and serotonin, a chemical storm that momentarily shuts down logic and self-awareness. It's the orgasm, the body's most ancient reflex, a biological event designed not by choice, but by evolution. A reflex so powerful that it overrides fear, pain, even thought itself. But here's the paradox, you don't make it happen. It happens to you. No matter how strong your will or how sharp your mind, the final moment of climax is commanded not by desire, but by a circuit buried deep within the spinal cord. A reflex older than speech, older than love, older than humanity. Inside your body, a tiny cluster of neurons lies dormant, waiting for a single trigger. When that signal reaches it, the entire system fires in perfect sequence, the pelvic floor the reproductive organs, the brain and the breath all collapse into one synchronized wave. For a few seconds, you lose control. But biologically, it's not chaos. It's precision. It's the oldest survival code written into your DNA. So what really happens inside this hidden reflex? And why did evolution design something so powerful only to make us surrender to it completely? Let's go inside to see how it truly works. Deep within the base of the spine lies a control center most people never think about. It sits quietly inside the lumbosacral region, the lower segment of the spinal cord where bundles of nerves gather like highways of information. This is where one of the body's most mysterious commands begins. The process of orgasm doesn't start in the genitals. It begins with signals that travel upward from touch receptors, pressure points, and sensory neurons scattered across the skin. These messages climb through the spinal cord, converging at a cluster of neurons known to scientists as the spinal generator of ejaculation, a name that barely captures its complexity. In reality, this region is a biological conductor, orchestrating a cascade that involves the entire body. When stimulation reaches a certain threshold, this spinal center stops listening to conscious control. It takes over. From that moment, a reflex loop is activated automatic, precise, and unstoppable. It sends orders outward through motor nerves, commanding pelvic muscles to contract blood vessels, to tighten lungs, to hold, and heartbeats to surge. Meanwhile, a separate signal rushes upward, reaching the hypothalamus and limbic system, the emotional core of the brain. Here, neurotransmitters flood in waves. Dopamine sparks. Pleasure oxytocin fuels connection and endorphins dull pain. In a flash, awareness shifts from thinking to feeling, from control to surrender. Yet this sequence isn't random. It's perfectly timed, as though the body rehearsed it for millennia. Every contraction, every surge of hormone, every electrical pulse follows a biological choreography that ensures one outcome, the completion of a reproductive reflex written deep in human evolution. But the question remains, if this reflex is so deeply rooted in the spinal cord, how does the mind experience it as pleasure, as emotion, as something far beyond a mere biological discharge? That's where the story turns inward into the connection between the body's oldest circuit and the conscious brain that tries to understand it. Once the reflex begins, it unfolds with the precision of a timed explosion. Electrical signals race through the spinal cord at speeds exceeding 200 miles per hour branching into networks that reach the pelvis, abdomen, and chest. In less than half a second, the entire lower body answers the call. The first wave starts in the pelvic floor. Muscles surrounding the reproductive organs tighten in rapid bursts. Five, ten, sometimes more contractions within seconds. Each contraction pushes against blood-filled tissue, amplifying pressure, intensifying sensation. It's not chaos, it's synchronization. The rhythm is driven by a specific set of motor neurons in the sacral spinal cord, firing in perfect intervals like a metronome hidden inside the body. Oui. Meanwhile, sympathetic nerves activate deep within the abdomen. They constrict blood vessels, increase heart rate, and prepare the lungs for short, shallow breaths. 
The brain senses the surge and reacts instantly, not by stopping it, but by letting go. The prefrontal cortex, the part responsible for decision and control, temporarily shuts down. In its place, the limbic system lights up emotion-reward connection. It is here that pleasure becomes consciousness. As endorphins rise, pain signals are muted. Dopamine floods the reward circuit, reinforcing a simple but powerful message this is worth remembering. The hypothalamus releases oxytocin, the bonding hormone linking pleasure to trust intimacy and calm. For a brief moment, every chemical and muscle in the body moves in harmony, collapsing into a single unified sensation. And then almost as suddenly as it began, the system resets. The contractions fade, heart rate slows, blood vessels relax, and breathing deepens. The spinal circuit deactivates like a switch turning off an ancient mechanism that has served life for millions of years. To the conscious mind, it feels like release. To biology, it's precision. The flawless execution of a reflex designed to ensure reproduction, reinforce bonding, and remind the organism that survival isn't only about living, it's about connecting. But evolution never builds without purpose. If this reflex is so vital, why does it surrender control instead of strengthening it? Why must life's most powerful instinct feel like losing oneself? The answer lies in what comes next, the moment where biology meets vulnerability and pleasure reveals its hidden cost. At its peak, the reflex becomes something greater than motion or chemistry. It becomes surrender. For a few seconds, the body abandons hierarchy. Every muscle, every nerve, every cell follows one command release. Signals in the spinal cord fire in rhythmic waves, no longer asking for permission from the brain. The conscious mind, overwhelmed by floods of neurotransmitters, fades into the background. The body takes over completely. Inside the brain, the amygdala, the center of fear, falls silent. The insular and limbic system responsible for emotion and empathy flare like constellations. The borders between self and sensation blur. Time stretches, then vanishes. For those few moments, the body is not separate from the mind, it is the mind. The same reflex that once drove primitive ancestors to reproduce now binds modern humans to emotion, intimacy, and trust. Evolution repurposed it, turning a survival mechanism into an experience of connection. That's why pleasure feels both ancient and personal. It's biology and memory woven together. Then as quickly as it rose, the cascade collapses. Adrenaline drops. Oxytocin lingers. Serotonin steadies the heart. Muscles loosen, breathing deepens, pupils constrict. The nervous system resets to baseline, as if nothing extraordinary happened. But the brain remembers not the act itself, but the peace that followed. This is the paradox of the orgasmic reflex. To achieve its purpose, the body must first lose control. It must silence the mind to fulfill the most primal function of life, the passing on of itself. In that instant of surrender, biology reveals its quiet truth that the deepest forms of control often come disguised as release. And when it's over, the body doesn't return to what it was before. It recalibrates a little calmer, a little closer, a little more human. Every reflex in the body serves a purpose. Breathing, blinking, swallowing. Each is automatic, mechanical, predictable. But this one is different. The orgasmic reflex isn't just about survival, it's about connection. For millions of years, nature has refined this circuit not simply to reproduce, but to remind living beings that creation begins with unity. When the body collapses into pleasure, it momentarily erases the illusion of separateness. In that instant, there is no boundary between self and other, between thought and feeling, between body and mind. There is only the pulse of life repeating itself. Perhaps that's why this reflex is so powerful, because it mirrors something far older than human desire. It echoes the rhythm of existence itself. Expansion and release, tension and calm birth and return. Every contraction, every surge of energy is a whisper of that same cycle. And though it lasts only seconds, its influence stretches far beyond. It bonds partners, lowers, stress, heals emotion, and teaches the brain that vulnerability is not weakness. In surrender, there is safety. 
in release, there is renewal. Evolution didn't design pleasure as a reward for reproduction. It designed reproduction as a pathway to pleasure to ensure that life keeps reaching for itself. What began as a reflex became an experience, and what began as biology became meaning. So the next time you think of this reflex, don't see it as loss of control. See it as the body's oldest language, a message written in nerve and breath saying life continues, not because it must, but because it wants to.